Hello, we have another fun uh, watercolor pencil tools crayons demonstration I'm going to show work through for you or with you and show you some tricks. I have a pencil drawing I already did on this watercolor paper and I'm going to be using a, a, a pen also and a white pen just to add a little bit more uh, to this drawing. So um, we're going to start with a water soluble color pencil. I am using brown because um, uh, I'm doing peanut butter and toast with a peanut butter cup on top. Um, but I'm going to start with the graphite pencil and I'm going to just go around the edges because it's going to be darker than the color pencil and it's just so I have a little shadow there to see if that'll work. Because we're, we're going to see what happens except I think I'm going to be going over uh, I'm going to be using uh, the pen too to go around the lines so let's see how I uh, what we end up doing all right I'm just gonna do that just the peanut butter just to see what it looks like and then those will blend when we add the water to it And I'm just going to do that little bit just to see how that looks. So that is lightening the brown, which we know the watercolor gets lighter than original. So let's see what that looks like when it dries and we'll go over another layer of it. All right, we're still working on this. Uh, I colored in some of the brown, uh, just so you didn't have to watch that whole thing. Um, and we're gonna see what else we're gonna do with this. Um, I think we're gonna do the teal. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bunch of color pencil first, and then I'm gonna go in and add the water, and then add more color pencil um, to get the right value. Uh, coverage and um, the look I'm trying I'm going for so so that is just to add punch a, a punch of color because there's everything else is just brown really and well actually that's it so let's see what we what it looks like with the water on there so this graphite is blending in with the color pencil and I'm just going right over it all and remember that the color pencil is going to be lighter when you make it watercolor so you'll have to go in to it where you go into it um, go back into it that was painful oh was that painful to listen to it was painful to say I need to move this I don't keep sticking my arm in front of the camera. Let's see where over there we go. I think that's better. And I made a mistake when I did this pencil. So the the plan when I did that black outline there was to use that and try to blend that in to make it shadow. That's why I'm just scrubbing it right now to see if I can lighten it. Um, but that is not working. And I remembered that I'm going to go in and use a pen over this watercolor. So I didn't need to do that to define it. I just wanted to do it for shadow and I don't need to do that. So and there we are. And just make sure I got that. So we're going to let that dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to go in. This is a Reese's peanut butter cup up top there. So I'm going to go in and add the orange to this because I have a bright orange and I think that's going to look cool. And like the other one, if you saw the, the girl with the purple, I decided, am I going to leave a line in between the color and the shape? And I'm going to do that again with this one. And if I don't like it, I can always go back. But if I want it there, I can't 
it's, it's going to be harder to erase the crayons, so I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave it empty, and then if I want to put it in, I will. Alright, and I want to make sure that's as solid as I can. So my lines were this way. Now I'm going to go across them like this to really try to get in all the paper, get good coverage. A lot of that is what should be filled in with the watercolor. So I'm gonna, uh, if I do that, uh, do I wanna do that? Mm, I think I'm gonna leave it like that and leave the focus, the, the watercolor will be with the bread and the peanut butter cup. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and work on the peanut butter cup, staying away from the white of the eyes, and the mouth and face and nose I will be going back in. So this thing I could have just colored the whole thing brown and looks like I should have, or even better, come up with a better idea of how I could do that. So maybe I should have put, it's peanut butter on toast, so I, I did pick a bunch of brown things here. So how can I make this more interesting? Mm, I don't know. <sighs> but I'll figure it out. And yeah, let's see here. Maybe, let's try to use, I'm gonna use the wash pencil, the regular graphite, and see if that can Add some shadow to the side. Well, it's certainly darker. Well, you can't, that's funny. That angle, it's just a big glare on the pencil, but there, that's what I did. That worked. And there's gonna be a lot of details. So here, you gotta think of it, you just gotta trust what we're doing because we're gonna be adding a lot of detail in with the pen um, not so much with this, with the color. So I'm just going in with the watercolor again, with the water, excuse me. And let's see, does that, yeah, that works. Yeah, it's not great. It's gray. But not great. So maybe I can, like we talked about before, if you get some of that graphite, you can use that, or some of the pigment that you use, you can add that with your brush, just like watercolor. So, boy, there's a lot of glare right there. See that? There you go. That's what we're at. And the looseness of it, how it's not following exactly everything, uh, the edges and all that, that's fine. I'm gonna go in, whoops, drip of water, too big of a drip. We have our tissue just to dab that water. And we're just, Going over the green a little bit, the teal, just to soften it. And once that dries, we'll go back in uh, with more pencil. All right, it's dried up here. So let's see if we can. I'm gonna go back in with the pencil. Oh, I don't think it's dried up yet because it's not showing at all. Let's see if it's dried up over here. Yeah, a little bit. Not really. Well, I think I'm going to leave that again so it dries up and I'm going to jump in with the pen. So I'm using a Pigma Micron because these are waterproof um, and I just really like them. Um, but I, I like them, but I'm also using it because it's waterproof. So I'm going to go around the edge and then this is the crust, this is the peanut butter. And I don't think I need to draw every line solid. And I want some texture in there. And where are we here? I got this. 
that comes over like this. And we have the thickness of the crust. And there's a little air bubbles in the, I don't know what it's called, but the, the bread itself, the part that's not the crust. We'll have some sticking out from underneath the peanut butter here and here. And they're different sizes. Okay. And this is a big glob of gooey peanut butter coming down. Yep. Okay. And we have, let's see, can you see? Yep. Okay. And this is it sitting in the peanut butter. And let's see what we got here. There we're drawing the texture around this edges. And then this goes down here, here. And let's see. And then I'm going to draw some lines on the crust too to show uh, the direction and the texture. So here's the eye, the other eye. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, and now let's see. And here we go. We're just adding some, just a couple lines on on the crust. Just have. A little bit of uh, detail and texture there just to see what it looks like. Okay, so that's that. And now I have this Uniball white one, and I'm gonna go in, and I think I'm gonna fix the, go over some of the watercolor that smudged. But this I would go and do like some white highlights shining off the oily peanut butter but I think I'm going to go back in and add, I'm going to let it try to let it dry a little more and then come back in with some more colored pencils. So um, we'll see what we can do in just a minute. All right, I think that's dried. So we, I can't just have it all brown. So I need to figure out a way to separate these different browns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can use um, the turquoise on the peanut butter, uh, no, on the bread, and see if that will change the value and darken it a little bit. It's not even about darkening it, it's just changing it. I need it to be a different brown than the peanut butter. Because I just want it to be more interesting, and what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna do the orange on the peanut butter on top of the bread to see if we can get those uh, different colors. So that right there already is showing it. You can even see it, um, that that's different. So let's see if we can go back over that again. And color pencil anyway. Oh yeah, that's nicer. Color pencil is a lot of blending and layers. Um, or you can do, there's other ways of course to do it, that's one of the, well, one of the ways, one of the ways I usually do it, because I try to blend with color pencil, because you get some neat colors uh, doing that. All 
Okay, so that certainly made that darker. Um, the peanut butter cup, I'm also gonna go with this. Now that it's dried, it is picking up more of the color and I am pushing pretty hard because I want it to be more brown. All right, so that is more brown, so that's good. So now we have like a, a greenish, grayish brown for the bread. We have the brown brown, I guess for lack of a better word, really. Couldn't have been a worse one. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and try to put some of this orange, um, very lightly, because I just want, I want it to be brown, but just like a warmer brown, so it, there you get a sense that there's orange in there. Or you don't really know it's orange, you just know. All right, we're just adding some orange in there. And we're just trying to get a little variation in the browns, that's all. And another thing we can do is let's take this, take in a little water on the edge of the crayon, and I'm going to use that just to add a little bit of that purple. To darken that edge, and I'm going to do a little bit more right down there. Not too much water on there. Let's get that out of there. We're just adding a little bit of definition, a little bit of shadow. just to see what we can do, just to make it a little more interesting, I guess. And I'm just picking up some of that water. Hmm. Yeah, looking pretty cool. I like it. And I just all right, and I'm gonna go back over the orange with the brown to see if it does anything. I think it is. Makes it a little more uh, brown orange, I guess. All right, and let's see. If we can, add a little water to the, let's do it to the, um, to the peanut butter cup, see if that can smooth it out. And then if we need to, we can go back in and with the pencil again and see what happens. Yep, I think that looks good. Uh, while that dries, I'm going to go back and try, see if we can add little highlight details. Maybe it's just where the, um, just the edge is getting caught. Now we're going to try, where's the other one? Jelly roll. See how that one works. Yep. I think I got some paint on the other one, so or some wax, so it wasn't working. I'll clean it up and let it dry. Go back into the eye just to touch up the edges where some of the um, watercolor.
Okay, and I just, I touched the little part of the eye. I'm just gonna clean that up real quick with the black. Make sure those are just how I want them. I think that looks pretty good. And I think that's it. So there you go, there's another way to use these cool water soluble tools. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please let me know in the section below. And uh, I'd please share with us, hashtag us, tag us at SmileCreateRepeat or hashtag SmileCreateRepeat on Instagram with anything you've made. We'd love to see what you've been doing. So thanks again. Have a great month and remember to smile, create, repeat.